Hello everyone, this is Valdeth with another quick tutorial on how to install the GLSL shaders for Feed the Beast Minecraft. We're also going to go over how to install a shader pack, the Chocopic 13s pack, but uh, the instructions here will apply to any of them. So if you've been watching my series, you can see with uh, Feed the Beast, I am using the shader pack, and I know there's a lot of interest. So let's quickly go over it. Uh, in my description here in my videos, I've got the links to the GSL shader mod and the shader pack in question. You need to go to these these links here, you can see there and there. But uh, you should be able to find them on the Minecraft forums pretty easily. This is the thread for the main mod, GLSL shaders. And this one over here is for the shader pack I have chosen to use currently. Uh, here's the download link right there. We don't really got to worry about what version of Minecraft you're using at the moment because Feed the Beast, the launcher, kind of takes care of that for us. That's kind of the magic here. Uh, on the shaders, uh, you want to download the version for the version of the uh, mod pack you're currently using. Currently, I'm using the ultimate mod pack, uh, 1.12 or something, which is still Minecraft 147. So I'll be downloading this link here. And you can see there's a specific version of Optifine you need with that. So you'll also want to download that from Optifine. Further down on this page, there is the links to all the other shader packs. You can use any of these that you want, download all of them, try them out. I'm currently using this one here. That's this, this page over here. So you go ahead and download all that stuff. And, oh, not Skype there, oops. Let's pull up this. So here's where I've downloaded the shaders mod and Optifine. Now the shaders pack, I actually put under shaders pack here, ChocoPix 13. And in here, you can look at the readme, it talks about modifying the jar and all that stuff with Minecraft. We don't want to do that. With Feed the Beast, we actually want to let uh, Feed the Beast handle that. So what you need, you need to do, open up your launcher. For whatever pack you're concerned and want to edit, go to edit mod pack. And under jar mods, go ahead and open open folder. You can see I've already got the changes in here. Open folder, it's already open, right here. Okay, so let's close this for now. So in here, which is really just where your uh, Minecraft Feed the Beast install is, here's your Minecraft folder for it, and it's this instamods folder. So in here, by default, there's just uh, these two mods in here. And these are actually used to modify your jar. So that's why you don't want to modify the jar in this Minecraft thing, because it's kind of overridden. So what you want to do here is put our uh, class files. So normally what we would do is you would come in here, and if you just want to install Optifine, you just take the Optifine zip and copy it right over here, and it will be installed. Boom. That's all you got to do. But we don't really want to do that because of the shaders. The shaders, unfortunately, need to be bundled with Optifine. We can't kind of really do it separately. So what we'll do is extract both of these to their own folders, like this. Go to the shaders mod. This is the GLSL shaders for Op Optifine Ultimate D5. Come in here and select everything, copy, Control C. And then we'll go into the Optifine folder, the extracted folder, and copy everything in here. Say yes, replace for the nine conflicts. So it basically up updates nine files and adds some more to the Optifine install. Now we want to zip this back up. But you don't want to go up here and take the folder and do that. You don't want to do that. You want to come in here, select everything, and add this to an archive. So right click, add to archive, make it a zip. That's the name. OK. It'll put it in place right here. So the reason you want to do this is because the contents of the zip needs to have this stuff. You don't want to have a folder and then those files. So this is the zip we actually want to put in our install mods folder, just like that. So now you can open up the game and you could load it and you could have used the default shaders, the wavy bump map stuff, but we would also install the shader pack. So come to our shader pack. And per the instructions, uh, these are your shader packs, the things you put in the shader pack folder. So we could copy these, whichever ones we want. I'll select high, low, medium, copy. 
go up to our install, uh, which is over here, sorry, Minecraft for the uh, ultimate that we're concerned about. And you can see we added a shader packs folder. If you don't have one, just go ahead and make it with this name, shader packs, all lowercase. And then you can see I've already got a minute. You come in here and just paste these in. I've already done it though. And you can see you can leave them as zips uh, from the other shader packs or from Chocopix here, he's got them just as this. And in this case, it doesn't matter. They don't need to be zips as long as they contain the shaders folder. Same thing is true over here. They contain the shaders folder. Okay, so now that we got that, we're pretty much there. But there's one other piece to our shader pack. Let's come back in here. We have the shader packs, but we also have these two folders, and we need to install one of them. Uh, we're using 147, which requires Optifine Ultimate D5. And then here there are, what do you know, more Java files that you normally would need to put in the jar. But we're not doing that. We're putting them in this folder here. So we just come back over here, and just like I did with the Optifine, just select all, right click, add to archive, zip, and give it a name. It doesn't really matter what it is. You can uh, I can give it the name of what it is. Choke pick 13 version 3. It'll create that right in this folder, right there. Take that zip, throw it over here. And now when Feed the Beast loads Minecraft, it'll modify your jar with all these things. So let's go ahead and close this, close this, reopen our launcher. And you can come in here and look and see that they are in the list here, these things that I've added. And launch. Might take a moment here to load all my goodies, but rest assured, this works. Now, I had to do it this way because I was always getting a black screen when I tried to modify the bin, and that's because uh, Feed the Beast overwrites kind of what you've done, and so it doesn't really take effect, and somehow it gets all messed up, and I always had to delete my bin and start over, but this is the way they intended to work. Computer's just slow. Uh, maybe I'll cut to when I'm loading the game, but rest assured, this is how it works. There we go. Come to uh, this. We can see the shaders are installed. Go to video settings. We can see it's Optifine. So right now I'm just using the default, but let's come in here and select version 3 medium. But I can select any of these others I've downloaded as well. Okay, so here's my texture packs folder for my Feed the Beast installation. You can see I just got the faithful texture pack in here. Uh, here's my faithful pack in the default. You don't have to do any modification of texture packs. It's all handled for you now. So you can see we're in here with the default texture pack. So here's my game loads. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful default and we'll just come in here and we can switch over to faithful as downloaded right from the website for 1.4 load up all those wonderful textures and now we got the beautiful faithful texture pack awesome well I hope you guys learned something I hope you enjoy and take advantage of these gorgeous shaders because they are wonderful Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.